Hey, what's up YouTube? And just two weeks after beta three, today Apple seeds beta four of iOS 11.3 to registered developers. So this software comes in right around 352 megabytes on my iPhone 6S Plus. Again, the size of this download will depend on your device and which firmware you're updating from. Now this should be available shortly to public beta testers here in the next few days to come. But if you wanna get your hands on a copy today, check the link in the description. Just install the configuration profile, reboot your device, head into the software update tab in the settings app, and then click download and install. So if we go into the settings app, we can take a look at the build number here. It is 15E5201E. So given the fact this build number is still rather long and iOS 11.3 isn't scheduled to debut until later this spring, it's looking like we will see more betas for sure. Now, if you guys remember from my last video, Beta 3 received a single core Geekbench score of 2551 and a multi-core score of 4405. Now, Beta 4 scores ever slightly lower at a single core score of 2499 and a multi-core score of 4369. Again, these scores are on my iPhone 6S Plus. They will be a lot faster on the iPhone 8 and on the iPhone 10. Anyway, now I haven't had too much time to play around with Beta 4 yet to see if Apple's made any substantial changes since Beta 3. I mainly just want to make today's quick video just announcing that it has come out. Anyway, if you guys intend to jailbreak, I would not recommend updating to this software. Again, you have better chances of jailbreaking the lower the iOS version that you're running iOS 11 to 11.1.2 now has the Electra jailbreak with Cydia now included. Also, 11.2 to 11.2.2 now has some major exploits that were just released, so it'll be interesting to see if anything comes from those. Furthermore, the Zimperium exploit now has been forked to include 11.2.5 support. So really, the only iOS iteration that is really lacking any hope for jailbreaking is iOS 11.2.6 which is also the only version of iOS that Apple is currently signing. Anyway, if you guys don't intend on jailbreaking and just want to check out iOS 11.3's new features, go ahead, by all means, check this out if you haven't yet. As a quick review, 11.3 is going to add some major new features like messages in the cloud, a detailed battery performance section in the settings app, and AirPlay 2 once it's released. 11.3 is scheduled to debut later this spring, and it has been in beta for about two months now. But like I said, if you want to check that out today, the link will be in the description. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video, and if you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. If you guys want to stay updated on new iOS releases, top tweaks, and the latest jailbreaking news, don't forget to subscribe before you head out. But until next time, guys, this is Tony, signing out.